Hello, I'm Shirley Romaine, and I am delighted to be here at one of Long Island's treasures, the Nassau County Museum of Art. The museum itself is located in the former Frick Estate, and it is known for its outstanding exhibitions, both foreign and domestic, bringing great art to Long Island from around the world. The museum is situated on a 145-acre Gold Coast estate, and it offers uh, walking tours, trails, gardens, and a sculpture park, in addition to the museum. And here to join me is Carl Willers. He is the director of the museum, and we are so pleased to have him on this program uh, for World Art Day. You've really brought to the island wonderful exhibits of all kinds of painting, of sculpture, of uh, photography, the recent show on photography. We did just close a show on photography in order to install this exhibition. We're actually sitting in the opening gallery of the Halston Style yes, exhibition, yes. which is the first comprehensive survey of Halston's work in fashion. Um, this project was curated by Leslie Froick, uh -huh. who is um, Halston's niece and also inherited the Halston ar archives from Halston upon his death and um, is, as I said, the first comprehensive retrospective of Halston's work, which is kind of hard to believe at this point because yeah. Halston was such a central figure within American fashion of the yeah. latter part of the yeah. 20th century yeah. that this is, um, this is the world's you know, first chance to yeah. really see a comprehensive view well, of his contributions. But more and more we're seeing fashion as art. Very and much I, so. And I think that's absolutely correct. Well, I think it's, it, you know, it is very much an art form and I think that's yeah. very evident as you walk through yeah. this particular project. Yeah. I mean, I'm amazed um, at how many people, their comments are that, um, well, I would wear that, you yeah. know, tonight. Yeah. And you think that many of these, most of the um, garments, like in the show, uh, really are you know approaching 50 years old. So it wasn't your mother, but your grandmother yeah. that you know wore these in her prime. Yeah. And for young people to come through the exhibition and look at an object and say, um, you know how you know how current yeah. it looks, yeah. and how they could like wear it to a party tonight yeah. and be you know have, and heads would turn mm -hmm. from every direction is really a compliment to how um, how much of a genius Halston yeah. really was yeah. and how um, advanced he was yeah. in his thinking about fashion and American fashion. Well, and it really tells us so much about the lifestyle and I, you know, I think he was pretty much involved with fashionable people, <laughs> you know. Very. <laughs> Who wore these clothes? Well, but, but very it, much so. It's interesting, you know, that that expression that's become famous, you know, you are who you dress, <laughs> yeah. was, you know, was coined by yeah. Halston. Yeah. And he did, um, he did dress um, many of the most famous and iconic um, uh, women of, of his time, from yeah. Liza Minnelli to Elizabeth Taylor, yeah. um, uh, just... Uh, working women, um, women within the entertainment industry, uh, people, you know, really all over the world. Well, I was Many very, first ladies. Yeah. Well, I, I guess Jackie, Jackie uh, Kennedy. Yes. That hat that she wore, the little pillbox hat. Very that much so. Oh, and yeah. we have the pillbox hat on view. It's you not do. exactly the one that Jackie wore um, to the inauguration. It's, uh, a beautiful example, Halston began his career as a milliner, as a hat maker. Well, I didn't which know I don't that. think, yeah, a lot of people don't really realize that, but he began his career in Chicago, opened a small hat making shop there um, and instantly had a great effect upon uh, the world of fashion mm -hmm. through this small salon and was in a sense um, his career was pushed forward by, um, by, by several people, but um, Miss Jessica, who ran the hat salon at Bergdorf's, sort of picked him out from the crowd. And uh, he um, ended up, at a very young age, um, running the hat salon at Bergdorf's, uh -huh. which was kind of the inner sanctum uh -huh. of fashion oh, with, you know, within New York and in some ways like around the world. Yeah. And that was an era where hat 
garments were still very much worn yeah. in a way that they're not, you know, today. I also was very interested in reading that he was part of that uh, Studio 54 crowd. Yeah. You know, I mean, <laughs> that was pretty crazy. <laughs> So you kind of get an interesting picture of him, you know. Very much so. And there is a gallery upstairs at the museum that is devoted to yeah, Studio to 54. Studio 54. Um, it um, has a lot of uh, photography of, like, the Studio 54 era. That was, like, a whole... Um, Scene, yeah. a celebrity scene that sort of emerged yeah. with the emergence of disco culture yeah. within this country. People don't realize that it was a very short period of time, just in the late 70s, that Studio 54 was really open. But also in that gallery, it's, 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 it's kind of, um, you know, one of the highlights of the show. All of Halston's sequined and studded um, gowns yeah. are there, yeah. the kinds of things that well, would sparkle. You tell me that there's a special, uh, something special going on in one of the rooms here. Right now those activities are taking place in a room that's really devoted to, um, to Halston's um, travels to China very mm -hmm. early. And he really wanted to, um, it's another example of his innovations within the business of fashion and art that he really traveled to China in order to have access to their silks. But this is very early, just soon after, um, you know, soon after China was really opened up. Um, well, I'm especially pleased that we were able to be here in celebration of World Art Day because this is our, this is our local contribution to world art. So I thank you, Carl. Well, thank you for being here and for sharing this with our community.